What's up, family and friends? Welcome to the Wogu Nation, our national flag country, where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of flag country without fear, without favor, and without friends. How are you doing today? I hope you are living and enjoying your life wherever you are. Because life is good and it's yours. You were born to live, explore and enjoy life. Let no one rob you. That you are right. You are human right. You are natural life. Right. Live it and enjoy it. Your natural life is eternal. Your natural life. I think some other time I will speak on uh, you know, people still asking me, like who created you or where you came from or that. But now I'm speaking on the poisonous tree. The poisonous tree. And the poisonous tree in our land. The poisonous tree in our family. The poisonous tree that poison our mind. It's religion. And they wrote it down in their book that if you can read between the lines, you understand. Or did they tell you that no, it meant well for you? Mm -mm. But when you read their book, you see that their God always used evil. Their God always used evil to do what they call good. Because as I told you, good and bad is from religion. Good and bad are product of religion. But negative and positive are natural products and they are good for us. Just like life and death, you need both of them because they are natural. The same way you rejoice when somebody is born is the same way you're supposed to rejoice when somebody is dead, as they say. We don't die. We transform. We translate. We change. That's what we do. Like, I used to be a Christian, but I'm no longer a Christian. I did not, I did not, like, die. No. I changed my belief. I changed my, so we change our body. That's what we do when we, when you say we're dead. But death is not the end. Death does not mean you are dead. That means you can, you don't exist anymore. You have been in existence before your parents conceive you. Do you hear what I said? You have been in existence before your parents conceive you and you will still be in existence even after you are dead. You continue living. The religion poisoned you, which is the worst poison. They did poison our mind. Religion poisoned our mind against the truth, against facts. So you can see people that they saw the fact. They say, no, the fact is not the truth. What is written, that is the truth. They saw the fact. You see a man and a woman that had sex and they conceived a child and that child was born. Yet they tell you that the God, there is God that created them because a book says so. Not because any God says so. 
now. Not because they have seen any God and say, yeah, I created you and put you in your father, in your father's loins and they put you in your mother's womb, then you came forth. No God has claimed the creation of heaven and earth. No God has claimed the creation of man, animal, or plant. No God. Every idea of creation is man-made. Imagination, they begin to imagine. Oh, when they argue, they say that everything and everyone that exists has a creator. I say, okay, you are just saying that you are God. Who you claim is not created. He's not a created creator, a decreated creator. That he was not created, but he created all things. But you just defeated your, your, your own, uh, your own, uh, fact or your own truth you say everyone and everything that exists must have a creator okay so you say your god exists your god has a creator and i know the creator of your god i know the creator of god man created god <laughs> every god is creature of man or creation of man no god created any man that's why no god speaks for man it's man speaking for god it's people speaking for god god is not speaking for any people religion is the poisonous tree the oppressors planted among us planted in our land planted in our families and they put it there they say that um you know, Jesus said to his disciples, Jesus represents our oppressors, our enemies, the white premises, white people. And Jesus said that, do not think, that's what, how he said, he said, do not think I came to bring peace to the world. He said, no. He said, he came to bring division. He came to bring sword that divide. He heard, he heard that part of uh, things fall apart that uh, Chino Achebe said that the white man was so clever. After he, saw, he has laid a sword, a knife to the things that bind us, divided us. That's the poison. They planted it in a family. He said now in a family, a man's enemy will be the member of his household. You see a father against against son, son against father to the point of death. You see a mother against daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against the mother to the point of death. That is the religious tree, the poisonous tree called religion. These people that are doing this, you see your brother turning against you in your own family. You see your own brother betraying you in your own family. And they believe in God. They worship God. They pray in Jesus' name. But because you don't believe their BS, because you don't believe their bullshit, now you must go to hell. Although you came from the same womb from, with them, you have the same parents with them. All of you came from the same parents, but you will go to different place. When you die, they will, you will go to hell, they will go to heaven. And they're happy it is like that. They say you blame yourself if you don't believe. Why should I believe? You were not born with, with those names. You were not born with those religions. You were born human just as I was born human. All of us came into, I mean, all of us, all of us came into existence in this body through the same way. So why? Because of religion. You are a Christian, you are a Muslim, you are a Jew. Now your own brethren who are not those things, you said they are condemned, they are infidel, they are unbelievers, they are, they are going to hell. No African Christian know the true history of Afri Africa. No African Muslim know the true history of Africa. No African Jew know the true history of Africa. And that's why you see them. They are the one that has been in power in Africa. Look at what is happening. Because they don't know our true history. They will never do anything. They will never establish anything to restore that, our glory. No. All they are doing, they want to be like Americans. They want to be like Europeans. They want to be like Asians. They even believe that white people gave us science. White people have science and we have juju. White people have science and we have voodoo. 
And the voodoo they claim we have, they also vilify it. They say, no, it's evil. It is fetish. Yet in the time of the need, like the politicians or the, the religious leaders, when they really want to do evil to get more power, they go to that juju. They vilified. Because the masses has been has been programmed. The masses has been brainwashed to has been poisoned against themselves. They hate themselves and love the oppressors. Religion is the poisonous tree in our land. Religion is the poisonous tree in our family. When I'm talking about religion, I'm talking about belief system. Every belief system is poisonous to you, especially to your mind. That's when you will begin to believe nonsense. You believe to begin to believe nonsense. Okay, yeah, I'm praying to my ancestors. I am praying to one God. I am praying to this to do what? You are one. You, you, you have your, your brain and, your, and, and the power to do things, in, 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 invent things in your head and bring it into reality. But you have been poisoned. You say, no, lean not on your own understanding. What you are, you are nothing. It is the gods of the land that is determining this. It is the God in heaven that is saying, no. Your mind has been poisoned. That's why you're reasoning like that. You don't see you worth living. You say you are nothing without them. You are nothing without it. No. You are human. Even without them, you are still human. And you are here. You were born to live. You were born to explore. You are born to enjoy life. Stop allowing the poison of religion, the venoms of religion to keep destroying your life. You hear the news about the death of the son of a, a pastor Deboye. I posted it. I was waiting for Christians to tell me it was fake news. So they found out it's not fake news. They, you know, they are normal nonsense. How dare you? Somebody said, we lost a good man. And this is what I say. I, I, I keep removing them from the group. Or uh, if you are my friend list, I, I, I remove that person. I block them out. Get out. These are the people that believe they are going to heaven. Now, one of the, them died at the age of 42. And they are mourning. They say, we lost the person. You lost somebody. And you say there is heaven. You say you are going to heaven. And you're crying. You are mourning. There's no reason for you to mourn when somebody died. Just as you don't mourn when somebody is born. Even if the child is born disabled, you say, oh, cute. That child is cute. You, you begin to celebrate. But somebody died. Now you're mourning. Because you are ignorant of yourself. You are ignorant of life you claim to have. Or you claim that God gave to you. You are ignorant. And you have to educate yourself. That's why I'm here. Wake up. The poisonous tree must be uprooted. I don't say cut down. No. I don't tell, say trim it. Cut off some bad, bad branches. Okay. Because it have good and the bad branches. You have to uproot all of them. That good is evil. That evil is good uh, in there. You have to uproot it completely. And begin to live your life humanly. Because life is good. Life is natural. Anything you need in this life, you can have them. Be that poisonous tree. Many people are eating from that tree. They are the one that will come in after you. They are the enemies of your progress. They are the one causing war all over the world. They are the one invading, invading other people's land. Using military, using imprisonment, using many threats to subdue people. But no condition is permanent. We are waking up. And we are going to restore our powers and recover our heritage. Africans, uproot that poisonous tree, call religion, call belief system, and live well. Peace.